take time to pray for those who you did not get a chance to meet, who is going through some something. We know that it's homeless people out here. Pray for the homeless. We know that's a hospital um, full of sick people. Pray for those sick people. Someone had a death in their family. Pray for that parent, for that um, sister, that brother, that uncle, that aunt who's going through the loss of losing a family member. That pierced the heart for many of many of years. So just pray for people, you guys. That's all I ask. That's all I ask you all to say a prayer for God to give them strength to endure. Just living in this world that's so unkind and so evil and just so wild and demonic. Even though it's good people in this world, it's a lot of bad in this world. A lot of bad things in this world. People practicing voodoo. People practicing demonic stuff and putting all this stuff on people. Spirits are real, guys. That's why God tells us to avoid all this um these little things people do when they read um, horoscopes, when they get into um, the tarot reading of cards. God said, avoid all that kind of stuff because that stuff is real. And I'm going to get into that probably. I hope um, if I'm not too busy, I'm going to write it down because I want to get into that kind of stuff. You know, I'm going to write that down because I want to definitely get into that kind of stuff because people don't know. Uh, about spirits but the bible tells us to um stay away from those things but anyway i'm just going to do a message and it's going to be like i think i got a little time because i don't have to go to work right now so i want to just talk about these youtube streets how they getting so bad the youtube streets on us um this sector it's getting vile it's getting evil it's getting demonic it's getting wicked you know and people wonder why it's happening What's going on? You hear a lot of people say, uh, oh, this stuff need to stop. But at the end of the day, I don't think a lot of people want it to stop. Because when you read the comments and you read, um, hear what people say, they they say stuff like, um, go for their head. Go for their neck. You're a beast. What kind of beast? You're a beast in these YouTube streets. In this sector, to call somebody a beast, I would not want that title. I would not want that title. Because at the end of the day, you see what's going on. Who is the best roaster? Who can talk the meanest about somebody? And that is congratulated. That behavior is congratulated in these YouTube streets. Who is the toughest? Who carry? Who got a, uh, um, something in their purse to hurt somebody? To run up. This stuff is literally celebrated. Congratulated. Welcome in these YouTube streets. Like, what happened? How did the bad become good? But I'm going to tell you guys. When you get a chance, read Romans chapter 1. Read Romans chapter 1. And I believe it's um, 23 until you finish the whole chapter 1. Read Romans chapter 1, 23 on until you get to chapter 2. And then it's going to tell you why people do what they do. And it's called, they have, I make sure I get this word right, reprobate mind. Oh, let me make sure I'm spelling it right. R-E, write this down. R-E-P-R-O-B-A-T-E. Rep. Uh, reprobate mind. That's it. reprobate mind. That's really what the word is. Look at that definition, and you're gonna wonder why these YouTube streets on this scepter is congratulating this behavior. The Bible also say they have a debased mind. And before I get into reading everything, I'm letting you guys know what we're dealing with. And people is actually entertained, like really entertained by it. My thing is, 
change need to be made. And I'm putting it out there. I've been saying it on my YouTube street, uh, on these YouTube streets. I've been saying this, but I want y'all to know why this stuff is so acceptable. People actually have a reprobate mind, a debased mind. And let me just tell you what it means. In Christian doctrine, when a sinner, you know, we all are sinners. Everything that people do that is not for God is a sin. Everything. The Bible said there's no good one. We all fall short of the glory. We all do. But when it becomes repetitions, when you just do it every day, all day, throughout the day, you wake up and sleep, this kind of stuff, it's a difference than just being a sinner because that's what we all are. But when we choose... To do these sinful things, your mind became debased, reprobate. And in Christian doctrine, when a sinner is so hardened as to feel no remorse or misgiving of conscience for a particular vile acts, it is considered a sign of reprobate mind. When people just can get on here and just cuss somebody out, just call them all sorts of dirty names, just do whatever it is to make their channel grow, that's a reprobate mind. That's a reprobate mind. And it says, and it says, definition of hearten one's heart when your heart just don't give a darn about what you say about what you do about how somebody else feel your your heart is just hardened and that is definition of hearten one's heart to stop having kind or unfriendly feelings for someone who or care about something do you understand do you see all what's going on that some people just can cut somebody out with just do it on the daily when somebody just can call somebody some mean names on the daily when somebody can wake up and sleep and do all this stuff with no conscience definition of heartens one's heart is to stop having kind or friendly feelings for someone or caring about something. People on these YouTube streets, on this sector, allow their heart to get hardened and you just say whatever, do whatever, doxing, and you just don't give a darn. A person rejected by God and beyond hope of salvation, morally deprived of principle, bad. Cause people just think this, um, these YouTube streets that oh, it seems like when they do stuff and say some things on these YouTube streets, they seem like God mind and eyes and um, He a spirit. But I'm just using this as. You know, because people don't think spirit all the time, you know, but we know God is a spirit. So they just think God is blind and deaf to the stuff that, that goes on in these YouTube streets. And when I get off of these YouTube streets, I'm going to sit while I'm on these YouTube streets. This is how they might, I think they might think. While I'm on these YouTube streets, I can say whatever I want, do whatever I want. I can dox whoever I want. But when I get off of these YouTube streets, I am a Christian woman, a Christian man. I go to church. Yeah, I, if I don't go to church, I am this person of God. But I can go to sleep and feel this way and pray while I'm at night. I can pray for everybody. I can pray for myself. But when I get on these YouTube streets, I'm going to cuss this person out. I'm going to go in on this person. I'm going to dock this person. I'm going to do all these things to this person which one which one which one is it which one is it which one is it because somebody need to say what I'm saying forget all that somebody somebody need to say it because it's crazy I'm hearing too many people who saying that they're Christians a child of God
God said about being lukewarm. And some people use an excuse. Oh, we're, but we all are sinners. We all fall short of the glory of God. So I can do what I can do. Because God is a forgiving God. God have grace and mercy on me. God can, God going to... Why y'all disrespecting God like that? Yes, we all are sinners. Yes, we all make mistakes. But you're not making a mistake waking up in the morning, cussing somebody out, doxing somebody, calling somebody names. That's not a mistake. You waking up to do that. You pushing record to do that. You know what you're about to do. You know what you're about to do. So it's not a mistake. It's not a mistake. So as you see what that say, God gave them over. God gave them over to, okay, you want to keep doing this, keep doing it. If that please you and you know it don't please me, just keep going, keep doing it. I'm going to give you over to what you want to do. God gave them over to their reprobate, debased mind. That's why they feel so comfortable doing it because God say, go for it. If that's what you want to do, keep doing it. Keep doing it. I'm telling you guys, read Romans 1, chapter 1. Read the whole chapter. Read the whole chapter. Let me just make, I know that's where it is, but I'm just going to see. I know that's where it is. I already saw it, but let me just make sure. So you guys, when you get time, when you get time, read Romans. Because some people don't understand what's happening. Because some people read the Bible and some people don't read the Bible. But those who read the Bible, we know what the Bible says. So when you get a chance, go ahead and read Romans 1, chapter 1, verse 24 through 32. Just read it for yourself. I'm not going to keep on saying it. You guys read it. I'm putting the scripture out there. Romans chapter 1, 24 through 32. And it's going to tell you the first, on, I'm not going to read it all, but it say, therefore God also gave them up to uncleanness in the lust of their heart. So God going to give you over to what you want to choose to do. Mm. But when you want to come back to him, he's always going to be having an open arms. But if you give yourself in, encouraging all this behavior by telling people to continue to do what they do, stay on their neck. Stay on their neck. Grown women tell another grown woman to keep going in on another person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is this. I'm telling you, these YouTube streets. I mean, God bless everybody. That's right. Everybody who's been who got their four thousand watch hours, mm -hmm. their thousand um, subscribers. God done bless everybody, including myself, mm -hmm. to have a channel. And you guys going to take that blessing. That's right. Take that other income. I don't know if this is your only income, your second income, your third source of income. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I know this is my third source of income. I work one job, two jobs, and get this check from YouTube. And you think I'm going to use what God blessed me with for That's something right. foolish? Speak it. Speak it, Johnson. Speak it. All this stuff these women do, y'all can be teaching somebody. That's right. All these different women with different personality, different talents, different gifts. Y'all are going to use all y'all, everything that y'all got to speak on somebody y'all don't know, never met. That's right, Brian. Speak it, Brian. You never met these people. You don't know these people. People talking about somebody using somebody's identity. All they need to do is stop. Stop the foolishness. Y'all are too grown to be acting like this. Y'all right. are grown women. Right. The stuff that y'all doing this elementary, mm -hmm. seeing who can roast somebody. Okay, you one of the best roasters. All these people roasting. Mm -hmm. All these people roasting people, calling people names. You never met that that person. You could sit down and see a chicken. Oh, you this. You could call a chicken a whole bunch of names. Mm -hmm. You can call a dog a whole bunch of names. You could call say a, a, a say a clown. Call a clown a whole bunch of names. Mm -hmm. You can call this person that person me a whole bunch of names. Okay, you're good at picking on people. You're good at clowning people. You're good at roasting people. 
Give okay. yourself a pat on the bike. All right, all right. Really? Mm -hmm. Man, Thank I tell you. you, these social media streets, man, I don't, mm, boy, the, man, it's just crazy. I'm telling you, it's just off the wall crazy. Mm -hmm. Off the wall crazy. That's right. Speak it. It's sad. It is so sad. Okay, and it say what? Because some people probably don't know what a debased mind is. What is a debased mind to lower to lower lower in standards? Mm -hmm. To low lower your standards, to lower your esteem, to, to lower the quality that you have, and to lower your character. Oh wow. That is the deep base mind when people lower their standards. Do y'all see this? I'm gonna try not. I'll, do y'all see that? Let me just point to it. Right there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I see it. What is a what is a debased mind? Mm -hmm. To lower that that right here. Lower your standards. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's right. No respect for yourself. The perfect road trip is at your fingertips with the Wyndham Road Trip Planner. Y'all need to see this so y'all can see that I'm just not making this stuff up. I believe you. I believe you. I am not making this up. Let me see. Can I make it I just bigger? read a little bit of it just a few minutes ago. Right there. It's going to be right there. I'm going to move my hand, but it's right there. You see that? Mm -hmm. To lower in status. Esteem, quality, and character. Mm -hmm. Man, why y'all gonna lower y'all character for these YouTube streets? Amen. And I'm gonna tell you, you know what? I'm gonna tell y'all why. For the money? And I'm gonna get back on this. I'm gonna tell y'all why. Let me tell you why some people choose to have a debased mind, to have a reprobate mind, and to lower their standards, their character. Mm -hmm. And um, to change from their Christian godly ways. And that's going to be hold on. Okay. At First Timothy 610, I'm going to show y'all why people on these YouTube streets, social media streets, mm -hmm. doing what they do. And feel so comfortable. They feel so comfortable because they have a uh, reprobate mind and a debased mind. We already know the standards has dropped. Wow. Okay, so another reason they do what they do. First Timothy six ten, and it reads. I hope y'all can see this. For the love of money, of money yes, is a root to all kinds of evil. Yes. For which some have strayed from the faith in their greediness mm. and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Yes. Many sorrows. So, as we see, it's not the money. We can have ten million dollars sitting right here in our hand. Mm -hmm. If nobody touch that money, do nothing to that money. The money is going to be tangible, something that you can touch, see, and feel. But that money ain't going to do nothing until you put that money in the hands of a person. What that person would do for the money is have to do with that person, not the money. That money can't talk. That money can't walk. Say it again. That money is a tangible thing that you touch, see, and feel. That's right. So it's not the money. It's the people who do bad with the money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The people who do bad with the money. Bad things to get money. Bad things when they have money. And so that's what's going on, just in case you all don't know why these YouTube streets is going boom, boom, boom. Just in case you did not know. Yes. I'm here to give you that message. This message is what a lot of people don't want to hear. 
because they conscious, if they still have one, it's going to bother them. Mm -hmm. And if they conscious don't bother them, they have a reprobate mind. They have a debased mind. Period. Period. Nobody want it. Some people don't want to change. Nope. That money look too good. Mm -hmm. I'm making too much money on YouTube to stop what I'm doing. Nobody ain't saying to stop what you're doing. But you don't have to go in so hard. Call people names. Yes. But I'm just the messenger. God is in God's word. Everything, everything that I just said is in this Bible right here. Okay, you guys, I'm going to end this video. Um, I, I honestly can vibe with um, Johnson said, and um, I agree with her. Baby, I agree with her 100%. You ladies may not, and you may. We can either disagree or we can agree, but I had to come back and do a reaction on this. I had to, because I, I, I'm feeling where she's coming from, and it's unbelievable how a lot of these YouTube channels just be going in on one another. And I said it multiple times in my video. Multiple times in my video. It just it just too much. I go to a lot of people's channel and um I support them, you know. I go in there and say hello, how you doing? You know, with love, and then I come back out, you know, because there's so much altercation going on, so much fussing going back and forth, you know, um, and, and that's what get their numbers up. That that gets their numbers up. They get their views up. That you know, people flocked over there. And it, I don't. Me, I don't have a problem with it. I don't care. But it just have gotten too much, you know. And I said it in one of my videos. And I'm gonna say it again. Um, I started YouTube in 2009. And when I tell y'all, in 2009 to 2016, YouTube used to be so fun to go on. It used to be an enjoyment place to go to just to relax. But now, if you want to see drama, just like the Atlanta Housewife and Marital Medicine and other stuff, LA and all that other stuff. YouTube is the place to go. It's no use in having cable no more. Yeah, Wi-Fi. Yeah, you're good on your Wi-Fi, but to have cable, just a waste of time because you always can go to YouTube and find some kind of drama off of somebody's page that's going in on another person. It's just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. All about the money. All about the money. Like Bronson said, you got couple coins in your hand and you give it to the next person but that money can't do nothing it's already within you what's going on on YouTube if it's not if you wasn't that person that you are now it's because of the BS that's going on on YouTube and my thing I have the problem with and you know YouTube allow this to happen I feel like this People should get strike when they cause when when something major go down. Reacting on somebody's channel, um, you shouldn't get a strike for that because you just reacting on what they place out here on YouTube. You know, even if it's they work, they idea, I don't think they should get strike. In my opinion, I don't feel like they should. But when it comes to meet me here and meet me there and weapons and dots and giving our address that's when it should be a strike because a lesson will be learned and a lesson will be taught so you guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit like comment and notification bell so you know when i'm posting the video also do not forget i'm reacting out for um johnson brian so make sure you go over and check out what she has to say and I will be reading what she said, Roman chapter 1, verse 28 through chapter 2. And because I want to get the understanding. Because she did this video today and she nailed it. The things she said. And God is using her to get through these people on YouTube, including myself. God is using her. And a lot of you ladies and, and men is not going to take heat to it. It's just going to go over your head because you're going to keep on doing what you do. 
for a couple of dollars when you can get up and go get a job and get paid. And I, and, and I feel like this. And much as argument going on on YouTube, ain't no way in the devilish mind you're going to tell me y'all argue with your neighbors that much. You argue with your in-laws that much. You argue with your uh, 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 co-workers that much. You don't, you don't even argue with those people. And you have inner encounters with them. You see them. You go out with them. You talk on the phone. You text. But ain't no way y'all argue with them the way y'all argue with people you don't even dang on blessed and know. But that's the end of my video. I just had to get that out. So y'all, I'm out of here. I want to say salute to all the guys and smooches to all the women. Y'all have a blessed day. And hey, like Brian said, continue on to pray. And like I'm going to say, keep the faith. I'm out of here, you guys. Y'all need to get this shit together. Y'all have a great day. I'm out. Peace.